Welcome back. In previous videos, you probably remember seeing the uh, Honda riding tractor. Well, a while back here, I had problems that I went to start it and it didn't want to run right. And it was spewing gas out the overflow and I couldn't figure out why. So I pulled the carburetor off, pulled the bowl off, thinking maybe one of the jets or the, the float needle had gotten clogged and here what happened was the float itself had filled with gas so of course it wouldn't float no more uh i cleaned or got it uh got the gas out of it cleaned it up resealed it temporarily because i knew it wasn't going to last as last forever and i put it back together and then i turned around and ordered a carburetor to go with it too so the carburetor has been sitting here at the house waiting until this happened again. Well, today it happened. So I'm gonna show you where it was spewing the gas and then we're gonna walk you through on changing out the carburetor. And I'm hoping that the new carburetor is already set that I don't have to mess with the uh, needles too much. Otherwise, we'll get into that. So let's go ahead and get started here. So here's the old carburetor, the bowl. It's a bad place to get to. But this is your feed line, the red one on this one anyway. Come over here. You can see the feed line going in right here. And this is the overflow. And the overflow goes down to this device down here. I'm not 100% sure what it is. But as soon as you turn on the thing, or the key, you can watch. It just starts puking. So we're going to go ahead and put you on the tripod here. And we're going to start pulling things apart. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this clamp here. Which will allow me. To disconnect the air hose. Or the air cleaner connection. Next step, disconnect the uh, governor. Rod. Actually, that was the throttle. I'm sorry. This is the governor. Pull the overflow line off. And pull the gas line off. Then, we'll take our 10 millimeter. Spin these off. This piece should come right off. Set that to the side. And the carburetor should come out. But I noticed from last time, there's a piece right here that it just does not like getting past. There we go. Alright, so we got the carburetor off. I'll go ahead and open it up here in a little bit. I'm going to get the new one on. Make sure that when you do this, you take the old, uh, the old seals off. That one's in pretty bad shape. So, of course, the new carburetor that I got came with new seals. So we're definitely going to put the new seals on. Looks like it came with a few. I'm going to say this one looks to be an exact replacement for this. Look at that. We'll set them there. I know, I should replace it, but it seems like it's uh, not bad, so we're going to go ahead and just reuse this one. I will keep the other ones, and if I have any problems, I'll come back and uh, fix it then. So, make sure you reconnect your gas line here. And the overflow. 
Now it's a good thing for the overflow where it's at because it puts the gas down there if this were to happen again instead of dumping it onto the uh, muffler. Gasoline on a hot surface is not going to turn out real well for you. All right, so we got that on there. Now we're going to go ahead and put these back on. Now we'll reconnect the governor rod and the throttle rod. Put this back on. All right, everything should be reconnected. Everything's tight. Let's go ahead and uh, see if it'll start here. Let the fuel pump fill up with fuel for a second. So that was quick and easy. Uh, it did need just a little bit of a tune on the uh, carburetor just to adjust the jet just a little bit to idle nicely. It actually runs really well. I'm hoping this carburetor holds up longer than the other one did. And then again, I don't know how long that other one was on here because it was on here when I bought it. So let's go ahead and get that other one tore apart and I'll show you what I mean by the float having gas in. All right, so on this carburetor and on most, there's going to be a bolt in the bottom. So let's go ahead and pull this. Now, hopefully you can see this in the camera. There's your float. See how much gas is in that? That's completely filled up. Like I said, I hope you can see that in the camera. There's a wee little air bubble pocket. That whole thing's supposed to be air. The whole purpose of a float is it's supposed to float. So, I mean, the carburetor's still good. I just need to find a, a float. And the problem is, is when you buy these aftermarket carburetors, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. I could have just taken the float out of the other one and put in here. But for the price, it just makes sense just to put the old one in or the, put the new one in, on the tractor. Uh, I will keep this as a spare in case I need it down the road. But as you can see, the float's filled back up with gas again and it's flooding itself out. If you found this video, informative please give it the thumbs up that helps me out to be able to make more content to help you guys and if you like these kind of videos hit the subscribe button if you hit the bell icon youtube will notify you every time i upload a new one so until next time be safe out there fix something build something just enjoy life later